There's even reference that I don't remember when my son died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Frankly, when I was asked the question, I thought to myself, it wasn't any of their damn business. That was President Joe Biden angrily hitting back at a special counsel report explaining why he was not charged with illegally retaining classified documents. Uh, special counsel Robert K. Herr was appointed in January 2023 by Attorney General Merrick Garland to lead an inquiry into President jo Joe Biden's possible criminality after they found classified documents in his garage, living areas, in, in his home in Delaware. Now, her ended up clearing Biden of any wrongdoing. However, this report suggested that one of the reasons Biden could not be prosecuted is because he's got some memory issues. Okay, so on Thursday, when addressing this, Biden hit back. Here is the full video in context. The evidence suggests that Mr. Biden did not willfully retain these documents. The evidence said I did not willfully retain these documents. In addition, I know there's some attention paid to some language in the report about my recollection of events. There's even reference that I don't remember when my son died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Frankly, when I was asked the question, I thought to myself, it wasn't any of their damn business. Let me tell you something. Some of you have commented, I wear since the day he died, every single day, the rosary he got from Our Lady of... Every Memorial Day, we hold a service remembering him, attending by friends and family and the people who loved him. I don't need anyone. I don't need anyone to remind me when he passed away or passed away. Okay, so it looks like he was getting kind of emotional, which I could totally understand. I mean, he's talking about his son dying, and then the special counsel actually, apparently using that against him, show that he's got memory issues. Now, another thing they hit him on uh, earlier, and this was more right-wing media, um, they said that he was, oh, you, you li he lied about his son, said that he died in Iraq. He, he didn't, he died of uh, cancer. Cancer that he got from where? The burn pits in Iraq. Just saying. <laughs> okay. All right. So, but here's the thing, though. This report actually does bring up something that people are legitimately concerned about. And that's Biden's age. Okay. According to a recent NBC News survey, about 76% of Americans, 81% of independents, 54% of Democrats worry about Joe Biden's fitness for office as a result of his age. He's 81 years old. Now, on the charges, her rights, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury, as he did during our interview with him, as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory, and that it would be difficult to convince a jury that a former president well into his 80s was guilty of a felony that requires a mental state of willfulness. And on his mental illness, uh, or, or fitness, I should say, uh, he says that Biden did not remember even within several years when his son Bo died. The report notes that he asked the special counsel to refresh his memory of what years he served as vice president in two separate instances. Uh, if it was 2013, when did I stop being vice president? In 2009, am I still vice president? So here's the thing. This report is politically disastrous for Joe Biden. I'm not going to sit there and pretend that it's not, okay? And that nobody has concerns about Joe Biden's age or his memory. Now, I've said it before. I don't think he's quite as sharp as he used to be. The guy's 81 years old. It does happen, all right? I'm also not, though, going to pretend that he's just like the late Dianne Feinstein, okay, uh, who was a, a senator. Remember, Feinstein was not able to remember conversations she had five to ten minutes prior. OK, she had a serious mental decline to the point where she was not able to do her job. As of right now, I don't see evidence of that. Oh, oh, I forgot the name of this person. Oh, I forgot the, this dead person. Uh, oh, I confused this other person. And he can still do his job. <laughs> OK, it's also important to me to note uh, that special counsel her is not a professional person that diagnoses people, diagnostician, okay? Um, he doesn't really have the background or experience to diagnose age-related memory loss issues, okay? 
So he's just looking at it as, ah, it'd be pretty hard to convince a jury uh, that, you know, uh, the guy's not just an old man. has got some, some, some issues, not as sharp as he used to be. Okay, I get it. Uh, now, he had no medical background at all, in fact. And when you're talking about memory issues, I have memory issues too. I'm 40, okay? And I've had memory issues my whole life, okay? I can't remember where I put my shoes, my, key or my, wall my keys or my wallet. I have forgotten words. I've stumbled over words. I've left the sink on. I, uh, once when I was in high school, I just recently had gotten glasses, okay? And I took the glasses off and I put them on the roof of my car, got in my car and drove away. Those glasses, gone destroyed. And when I was driving, I was like, man, it's, uh, something's off here. Oh, crap. I forgot my glasses on my car. That's the kind of, uh, you know, dumb memory issues slash ADHD stuff, uh, that I've had to deal with my whole life. I I've, uh, I've walked into a room and forgotten why I even went into that room in the first place. Okay. Those things do happen. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're experiencing cognitive decline, okay? So that said, when, you know, when it comes to memory loss issues, when you get older, that naturally happens. Both Trump and Biden are not spring chickens, okay? Trump's 77 years old, and he's been confused. He's had memory loss. Look, Trump recently confused Nikki Haley with Nancy Pelosi, okay? Several times. Now, it's also important to note, speaking of the Trump connection here, that her is a former Trump Justice Department official and was uh, a top advisor to Trump's then Deputy Attorney General, Rod Rosenstein, whom, and whom Trump then nominated to be U.S. Attorney for Maryland. Okay, so does that mean that he's attempting to help Trump by doing this political hit against Joe Biden? I don't know, but I wouldn't rule it out. That said, I also do want to talk about the difference between the two cases, right? Trump had refused to turn over the documents that had been subpoenaed and tried to block investigators from doing their job. Joe Biden, he cooperated with investigators the moment that the documents were found. So all of that makes me feel like Joe Biden is justified in his response. Now, that said, was it a good idea to have this impromptu presser about it? Not exactly. Why? What do I mean? Well, in it, he was, again, understandably frustrated, angry. He lashed out at reporters asking questions that, honestly, some people have been asking, or a lot of people have been asking. And during that same press conference, he referred to, to Egyptian dictator Abdel Fattah el-Sisi as the president of Mexico. No, that's President Obrador, okay? Bad optics. In an election where people are having concerns about your mental fitness, I mean, I would have waited, <laughs> okay? Now, that said, do I think uh, we should have similar concerns about Donald Trump? Absolutely. And that's just among other things. I think what's most important to remember about Trump is that he under tried to undermine democracy. He has 91 criminal indictments against him. Kind of more important than somebody who forgets random things, okay? I'm just saying, when it comes down to it, Personally, Biden was never my first choice, obviously. I'd love for somebody more progressive, younger, to replace him on the ticket. It's never going to happen. I'm sorry. Not going to happen. So, just going to have to deal, uh, at least in my mind, I'm pretty sure we're just going to end up having to deal with this. I know we're in the, still in the middle of a primary, uh, and I just don't think that voters in the Democratic Party are going to allow anyone other than Joe Biden to be the nominee. And so, yeah, that doesn't mean that I, I, I think that you, you know, if you're not in favor of Joe Biden to go uh, and vote for someone else in the primary, absolutely, go ahead, great. Uh, you know, definitely, uh, that's what primaries are for. It's not a foregone conclusion and it's not a coronation, of, of course, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure that Joe Biden's still going to end up being the nominee. And Donald Trump, also very, very likely to be the Republican nominee. And so if it's a choice between them, memory issues or not, Joe Biden's always going to be a better choice.